Hello everyone, this is Sea Devils 2 and this is a quick update video. I've noticed in my Let's Play series an interesting change has happened to the uh, extra utilities power generation, uh, which is why I've set stuff up out here to take a look at it. Let's go take a look. Um, now here you see the classic ways of generating uh, generating stuff. Uh, you have your lunar panels, which are of course aren't generating because it's daytime. The solar panels, which are getting one uh, per tick, okay. And then we're going to the water mills and the air, uh, the windmills. Here is your fire mill and your lava mill and your egg and, of course, your regular generator. Now, for those who don't know uh, the way these work, this is the easiest and cheapest one to build, the manual mill, because as long as you keep looking at it, it will generate 15 GP a tick. As soon as you turn away, it stops. Say lunar panels. Uh, you put these out at night and they generate uh, one uh, GP per, per tick. Uh, solar panels, obviously, during the day, they generate one per tick. The windmills, they generate uh, anywhere from uh, one to two and a half, I've seen. Yeah, that's about right, uh, regardless of height, as long as you keep the uh, north and south directions free, uh, it's fine. Fire mill, put it over. Let me see. Put it over flame, and there you go. You've got uh, four per tick. Now, as far as uh, uh, compactness, these are the most compact because you can just put one on, stack them on top of each other. Uh, the lava mill just requires one source block of lava right next to it, and it generates two. And then you have the king of all things, the water mill, which uh, generates up to 16 if you have all four sides surrounded by one flowing water. Except now. Uh, extra utilities is updated to include efficiency loss. And because I have so many water mills here, which is, I mean, this is the classic pattern just for basic generation. Normally this would be generating 16 times 8, um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, 16 times 8. Oh, yeah, it's raining. Uh, downfall. Um, anyway, um, let's just go back. Set time to, whoops. Toggle rain. Wrong one. Um, so, anyway, uh, it turns out, and if you go into the tooltip, for extra utilities, you will see that they've now introduced efficiency for the lava mill. You can generate up to 200 GP from lava mills. After that, you start taking loss anywhere. It starts at 200, it goes up to 400, which is 33%. Same thing with water mills, although they are even more reduced. 64 GP, so you can only have three water mills running before they get uh, nerfed down uh, to quite a bit. Um, because, I mean, that's literally, a standard setup has eight, you're easily over 128 right there. So you're down, you know, a, a third of your GP. Windmills, not as bad, they go up to 512, but you need a whole lot of them. Uh, plus they vary uh, by a whole lot, um, by up to one each GP. So if you have, you know, 50 of these, you're plus or minus 50 GP at any time. Fire mill, again, because it's so compact, you would want to use this, but unfortunately, after 10, you start taking efficiency losses. The creative mill obviously doesn't, uh, the manual mill doesn't, because you only look at one anyway, and the dragon egg has one, because, well, I mean, if, you, well, if you've got the dragon egg, you're not really worried about GP, because one of them will do more than anything else you could possibly do. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's the new efficiency loss, and even if I eliminate them, see, it's down to 7%, 7 uh, 16, oh, wait, I don't know, is it 16? Uh, water mill. So, wait a minute, 16? Oh, so it's not taking generation loss. So, uh, let me pop out the rest of these. And yes, it, it's only from the sources. So, if you have, you know, regardless of what you're generating, like I'm generating over the 64, but only 16 of it uh, I'm sorry, only uh, these four are contributing. As soon as I plop down the next one, that's one takes a hit. So you'll see we're at 85, and the next one contributes only 10, because everyone here is losing about uh, one efficiency off of it. So 
Uh, kind of stinks, but it's about time because, let's face it, everyone just plopped down a whole bunch of water mills and never bothered using the others. So, uh, in my honest opinion, I think lava mills are one of the best ones uh, because you can get them up to 200 GP and you can get them pretty compact. You can stack uh, two of them. Uh, you can stack them on top of each other and just put lava blocks right next to each one. So, um, in fact, you can actually daisy chain it around so that you get four of them in here and one lava block. So, well, that's my opinion. But anyway, yes, the to answer people's questions, the uh, mod was updated with efficiency loss, and you're going to have to recalculate your GP, so you can't just rely on water, windmills and water mills. So, this is Sea Devils 2. And this is my short video on the changes to uh, extra utilities. I'm going to explore more in my Let's Play, so I'll bring any more updates to you as soon as I can. Thanks.